Here you go. Maybe next time, don't kick them all the way under the bed. Ah, oh, sorry. Listen, Si, sorry, I've uh, got to nip out again. Well, you've only just got back in. Yeah, oh. I know, but uh, Nick's just texted and uh, he wants to um, meet up for a bit of a chat, so... All right, I'll grab our coat and I'll come with you. Uh, no, no, it's fine. Uh, to be honest, it's probably best if it's just the two of us. Things have been a bit narky between us lately and I just want to make a bit of an effort, you know? Oh. Right, won't be long. Mum? Yeah? I'm really glad things are going back to normal with you two. Yeah, me too. Right, see you in a bit. See ya. Did you hear how many times that policewoman asked me the same question? Talk about a dog with a bone. Well, we should probably wait for your social worker. Oh, I, yeah, fat lot of good she was. If not for you, I'd still be in there. Look, about the dealer, you really need to tell the police who you're protecting. Who says I'm protecting anyone? All right, fine. Well, if you change your mind or if you need any help, I'm always here. I thought you wanted nothing to do with me because of my dad. My problem's with him, not with you. Sorry. I'm just uh, calling you somewhere. How did it go? Well, she's out. That's something. OK, so well, that's it. She's, she's free to go. Well, she'll probably be hearing from them again in the next couple of weeks. OK, well, hopefully by then things will calm down a bit and you're at home. Oh, it doesn't matter. I've decided I'm not going back. Sorry? No, I mean it. The kid's a psycho. I'm not going back and you can't make me. Hey, honey, uh, honey, can I have a word, please? Um, okay, listen, I've been thinking, and um, I really don't want you to go anywhere near that Kelly again. What? Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Because uh, it could be you in that hospital, not her. Look, the, this had nothing to do with her. Honey, please. No, you can't ban me from seeing her. Okay, fine. You know, but what? I can certainly try. Look, it was me, okay? I... I told her to buy the drugs. All right, listen, I know what this is. What, you think uh, you're going to cover for her? That she's not going to get in trouble? It doesn't work. Are you serious? Have you, have you any idea what you've done? What were you thinking? I don't know. But you know what? What? You thought that maybe, what, you just, you're going to get off your head, you know, to hell with who gets hurt? Look, you don't understand what it's like. What do you mean I don't understand? What don't I understand? To hate yourself. To hate everything about you. Look, all I wanted was to forget who I was for a few hours. To make it all go away. Yeah. But I couldn't even manage that. OK. You know what? It isn't good enough. OK, I know you've been through a lot and I know it's been really hard, OK, but you can't just press this, 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 this self-destruct every time you hit, like, a rough patch. OK, Kelly could have died. You think I don't know okay, that? OK, so next time, next time you want to forget who you are, then maybe you should stop and maybe you should think. Oh, Dad, what are you doing here? Well, um, I was just passing and, um... Well, I just wanted to say sorry about earlier, eh? I should have been more enthusiastic about your party. <laughs> yeah, you should. They don't want to think you don't care if it's a bar or a girl. Well, I don't, as long as it's happy and healthy, but if it's important to you, it's important to me. Look, Dad, it's fine. If, you, if you're not into the party, we can just do it with Uncle Ronnie. I'm into it. I'm into it. I'm so into it. I rang your mum, and we're insisted on paying for it. No, well, no, Uncle Ronnie's already offered. Yeah, well, we're the grandparents, not him. So? We won't hear another word about it. All right, if you're sure, thanks. You're welcome. Right, you have to go dig out my best tie. Uh, uh, the one with the budgies on. Not budgies, the parrots. Yeah, well, it should be illegal, all right? Just no tie, all right? Just keep it casual, OK? I've, I've got to go. See you later. I'll see you, son. Orange juice and whatever she's having to. Excuse me? Do you want to try that again? You what? Well, you're a bride to be. Can't have a face like a slap backside. Yeah, well, if you ask me, the whole thing's more aggro than it's worth. Why? What's happened? <sighs> Has Kev asked you for a prenup? Sally's told us she's going to be a maid of honour. Ah, oh, ah, oh, that's amazing. No, no, it's not. How come? Because she's not having one. Just haven't had the guts to tell her yet. Barely got the chance to say anything. Well, to be fair, I can see why you wouldn't want Sally. 
Because she's a bossy know-it-all who'd completely take over. Yeah, but not just that, because she's Kevin's ex. Well, what's that got to do with out? Yeah, yeah, it is a bit weird. Exactly what I said. No, it's not weird. She's my mate. Hey, you don't mind me asking, but how come you and Ty have not tied the knot? Are you keeping your options open? What? No. <laughs> All right, so what, is it Ty who's not sure? Uh, sorry, are we talking about my relationship here, or is? Do you want a second thoughts? Forget the orange juice. What? Where are you going? Oh. Kelly? Hiya. Are you okay? Where are you? Um, I just left the police station. I thought you should know they're on their way to arrest you. You what? I'm joking. I didn't drop you in it. Really? Well, that's brilliant. How come? Dunno, really. Maybe because I believe what you said and you weren't just out to save your own skin. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, well, you owe me. Big time. Look, I can't talk. I'll speak to you later. Oh, hey, uh, sorry to pop in again. I just wanted to see how your mum was. Really? I thought you were meeting her ages ago. What, me? <laughs> yeah, she said that you sent her a message asking to meet up and sort things out. Oh, right, we must have uh, got our wires crossed or something. Uh, I'll try and track her down. Oh, Nick, how's Sam? Uh, well, uh, I mean, Sam is quiet, which isn't like him, but it's hardly a surprise, is it? Look, I'm, I'm really sorry about what happened. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, I stand, stand. You OK? Yeah, I just, I feel really bad. About Sam? And my mum. I'm supposed to be trying to help her and I keep making everything worse. How do you mean worse? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Ignore me. Right. Uh, go and give your mum a call. See you later. See ya. this quickly to go through everything. I mean, to think you weren't even thinking about going down the traditional wedding route this morning. See, the, the thing is... I'd, I'd like... Can I just say... This means the world to me. Not just being the maid of honour, but having carte blanche to organise everything. Well, that's just it. I, d I don't want you to be my maid of honour. Sorry? No, it's, no, it's not that I, I don't want you to do it. If I was... If I was having a maid of honour, you would totally be it. You'd be straight in at number one in the all-time top ten. It's just, I don't want anyone. Do you know, you're not making any sense. We discussed it, you asked me, and I said yes. No. You told me, and I didn't have the heart to say no. But now I do. You are his mate. He wants to know. He asked me to drop someone off. Not his missus, are you? Of course not. He only goes for strippers. Don't just stand there. Go on, I won't bite. No, I'm fine, Ata. Right, so are we all right then? I don't think so. What do you mean? Word is, a load of Harvey's gear's been dodgy. So, till I've checked it, you go in nowhere. Lucky for you, it's all right. Right, well, I'd say I'd see you again, but I'd be lying. No need to rush off, is there? We haven't got to know each other yet. Move. Unless you want me to give Harvey a call. I'm terrified. Yeah, you will be. When I tell him you tried to rip him off. See you next time, love. <laughs> Stop. 
sorry. It's like I said, it's not that I don't want you. I, I don't want any of it. Well, you don't want to get married? Well, no, I want to get married. I just don't want all the claptrap that comes with it. Why not? Oh, you know me, Sal. I'm a pint and a kebab girl. Surely you could make an exception just this once. You know, doing all the traditional things, it's a way of involving the people you care most about. Yeah, I know that. And there's no one I want to involve more than you. And Kev and Seb. And not forgetting Jack. You are definitely number four. So why are you so dead set against it, then? Truth. Because I feel like a fraud. What right have I got to stand up there in a big white meringue, surrounded by bridesmaids and little page girls with forget-me-nots in their hair? That's for normal, decent folk. Now, you listen to me. You're one of the kindest, most decent people that I've ever met. Yeah, you've made mistakes. But actually, you've made quite a lot of mistakes, but nobody deserves this wedding more than you and Kevin. So don't let me ever hear you say otherwise. Blimey. I mean it. Right. Still don't want bridesmaids, though. Fine, don't have bridesmaids. Get married in a deep-sea diving outfit for all I care. Well, not sure a diving outfit would make the most of me assets, but I'd give anything a go once. You and Kevin have found something amazing. And you should celebrate this wedding whatever way makes you happy. You know what, you're right. Hmm. <laughs> In fact, you know, it's not just bridesmaids that I don't want. I don't want a registrar, either. What? Well, why would I get a stranger in a suit I've never met before to declare as man and wife? Well, you've got to get someone. Yeah, I know. Which is why I want you to do it. Me? Well, you said it's, it's about celebrating with the people you care about the most. You're the best friend I've got. You've even been mayor. And that probably outranks a registrar, you know, if it came down to a fight. You're actually serious. Well, all you've got to do is say some soppy rubbish about me. You don't even have to mean it. Well... I'd be honoured. Now I'm going to scrap this start again. <laughs> OK. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll let her know. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Well? So, your social worker says that they will have a word with this other boy, they will get everything sorted out, but you are going to have to go back. <sighs> yeah, well, I don't care. If any, even if he's there, I'm just going to run away. Do you not know any other foster families I could go to? <sighs> the thing is, it's, it's just it's not my place. Great. So you're washing your hands of me, like everyone else? Look, I would say you could stay with us, but we've only fostered a baby. You foster? Great problem solved. I can stop with you. What? Yeah, no, that, that, it, it doesn't really work like that, Kelly. Why not? You foster kids. I'm a kid who needs fostering. Plus, you promised to do anything to help me, so... Well, look, the thing is, even if you could stay with Imran, it, it wouldn't be up to him. It'd be up to social services. Um, besides that, I don't think my history with your dad makes me the most ideal candidate. Oh, so you lied? You are punishing me because of my dad. Leanne, Leanne. Hold on, I, I've been looking for you. Where have you been? Why? What's happened? Well, I'm just a bit confused, that's all. About what? Why you told Simon you were meeting me. No, I didn't. I said I wanted to say... Oh, no, thank... no, cut the act. What's going on? Look, Nick, I'm really sorry. I can't do this right now. Oh, no, don't walk away from me. You're not fobbing me off. Look, something's going on with Simon, isn't it? He's in trouble. Leanne, it's written all over your face. We were going to get married, spend the rest of our lives together, and then one day, out of the blue, she dumps me for someone else. No. Not just anybody. An ex. Oh, you poor love. What happened? I helped her cook this birthday dinner for her mate. She was always a terrible cook. And then her old boyfriend turns up, and before you know it, we're on the street fighting. You are kidding. To be honest, we were both rubbish at fighting. But I didn't stop us smashing through the window of this Greek restaurant. A Greek, a Greek restaurant? Mm. Uh, we were both fine. But afterwards, she tells me that she's made a mistake. 
And she still loves her old boyfriend. This woman, she won't call Bridget by any chance, was she? Well, you, you know her. <laughs> you are winding me up, you big tease. It's that scene from Bridget Jones's diary where they have the big fight. Sorry, Jayla, I couldn't resist. All right, well, I was going to get you a free drink, but just for that, you can get your own. That's all right. Eddie will get these in. <laughs> Cheeky beggar! How do you put all with him? Good question. No, Michael. No, no, he's sorting out the party. I've told him I'm coming, though. Good, I'm pleased. I've also told him I'm paying for it. <laughs> what, why? Well, we're grateful for the offer, but I'm his dad, so I'll take care of it. In other words, mind your own business. I need to pop to the jets. Someone had a falling out. Just me wading in with my size nines where I'm not wanted. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> what did I tell you about calling me? I don't care. I meant what I said. I'm not interested in anything you have to say anymore. Do you understand? Now, don't call me again. And then Jenny asked, is it because you're keeping your options open? No. <gasps> Ty. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're keeping your options open? Well, no, I meant, I meant no. Mm, I mean, why should we rush into a wedding just to prove something to other people? Oh, I'm glad our relationship's so fascinating for you. Yeah, sorry, love. What are you looking at? Nothing. Luscious lash tints. I, I was looking at something for the girls. What, you want them to tint their eyelashes? No. thought you might want to spoil yourselves with a treatment or something. What's that a treatment? I don't know. Don't do it if you don't want to. No skin off my nose. Oh, it would be if it was exfoliated. <laughs> exfoliated? How long were you reading that page for? I know the word exfoliated, thank you. I'm gonna get changed. So, apparently, this Jacob said that Simon owed him money. What for? Well, apparently, Simon had wrecked this bike that he gave him, so I needed the money to pay him back. What that for a bike? <sighs> well, he's not just any kid. He's involved in this gang. Anyway... I've sorted it now, so there's no need for you to worry. How? I mean, you've been to the police, haven't you? No, how could I? They could have done something to Simon. All oh, the more reason to get them involved. All right, Nick, he's my son. I've handled it, OK? OK, so who gave you the rest of the money? Stella lent it to me. All right, so that's it. You just cough up and he walks away. Oh, do you know what? I've had enough of this, Nick. Oh, come on, Liam. No, I swear, yeah. I can't take much more of it. Please. I love you. I want to help, but you've got to let me in, OK? No more secrets. I was beginning to think you're blowing me out. <laughs> Sorry. I uh, thought my dad was going to lock me in my room. You didn't tell him anything. Um, only that I was only made to buy the drugs. What did you say that for? Because it's true. No, look, no one made me do anything, OK? Anyway, it turns out you might have done me a little bit of a favour. How? Well, you know, that uh, lawyer guy, Imran? He might be Mandy Foster, dad. Seriously? Uh, no, it's not for definite, but I think if I turn on the emotional blackmail... Could look a bit happier. Sorry. I just, just can't believe I was so stupid. No, look, Astra, forget it, OK? It's not like it was the first time. I've done it loads. Really? So would you if you had my life? <laughs> you don't know how good you've got it, you reckon? <laughs> yeah, I do. Well, maybe your dad did want to lock you up, but <laughs> at least you've got one. I'd do anything to see my dad again. Hiya. I thought you'd be back hours ago. Yeah, uh, got a bit mixed up about meeting Nick, but we got there in the oh. end. Did he go all right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was really nice, actually. Well, I'm glad things are getting back to normal. Yeah, listen, Sai, I've been thinking I want you to pack it in at the chippy. What? Why? Why? 
Why do you think? I don't want you involved with them people anymore. I thought you'd be glad to see the back of it. No, I am. I just... I wish I didn't keep letting you down. You don't. What if I screw up again? What if something worse happens? No, it won't. Look, you're safe now. It's going to be fine, OK? Is that yours? Oh, yeah, I have uh, changed my ringtone. <laughs> Maybe you should get it. Oh, stop now. <laughs> so, what are you cooking? That smells good. Oh, it's just some spike ball. Oh, thanks. I'm starving, actually. Although I think I might have put too much chilli in. Chilli? Yeah, I was experimenting and it kind of just Oh, fell sorry, Sire. I probably should get this. Yeah. I... Can't talk right now. Oh, well, don't talk then, just listen. I heard it went all right today, so I've lined you up with another one for tomorrow. What? No, I've already done what you asked. We're square now. What, you think that's it? You can just walk away? I say when you've paid off your debt, not you. I'll call you in the morning, make sure you answer. Well, our brand new drama Grace was certainly edge of your seat stuff last night. You can catch up now on ITV Hub. Next tonight on ITV, Cassie and Sonny uncover vital information about the case. Best series yet? Brand new Unforgotten continues in a moment. <laughs> 